Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Doom Tech, the almost vanilla single player technical survival world. And since last episode, I have done quite a little bit of work here. I have made a little bit of a semi automatic farm here. You just stand with a seed here, you blow this up with bone meal, you stand with a seed here, keep clicking onto the observer, I just hold down, and then you get crops automatically. Um, got quite a large supply of bread here, that's for a project in a bit. And something else I did uh, is I, as you probably already saw, I've dug out this a little bit more, and then I have gayed a little bit over here. I I made a little water stream with some of these magma blocks here, and I just AFK'd in the corner there, slimes would come to me, and I got a few slime balls. Uh, this will still need to be expanded, because this was very slow. This was like two hours of king, and I got seven slime balls. But that's alright, that's alright. Um, we're up to 49, I think, now, which is enough for, I want to say, six slime blocks. Uh, let's, let's make them into slime blocks. Five slime blocks, okay. I don't think that's quite enough to make a TNT duper yet, but as soon as it is, we're gonna be making a TNT duper and making a lot of farms much easier. But yes, today what I want to focus on mainly is an iron farm. So, I've got some shears, I've got some wood for beds, I'm gonna go find some sheep, and I'm gonna go to the village that I found somewhere in that direction, breed up a whole bunch of villagers with the bread I got. I don't think I have any carrots or potatoes, otherwise I would have just used that, because I had three times the amount of wheat here, which would have been a lot more carrots than potatoes. Um, so hopefully two and a half stacks of bread is enough for the villagers to breed. And I guess I will probably see you when most of it is done.
Alright, so I went AFK for quite a little while there, and something happened in the meantime. I don't know what, but a villager is gone. I'll have to watch the replay when I'm editing it, but <sighs> it, it took forever to get the villagers up there. I mean, I have plenty more, but ah, I have to do it again. And if I need, I need to fix whatever caused him to, well, not be there anymore. Something that might have happened is he might have gone into bed and then spawned on the glass when exiting the bed. That might have happened. Uh, I wonder if I repl replace all of the glass with slabs, if that's going to happen again. Uh, I, I'll have to rewatch the replay uh, and see what happened. Uh, I don't think a mob could have gotten there. So, my only thought is that he spawned down on the glass and then went in the water and died. Uh, so, yeah, that's fun. Moment of truth right here. Let's see what happens to the villager. I'm in the replay file now, and I've just gotten to the first night while I was AFK there. So, let's see what happens to the villager. He should be waking up just about now. He... Oh my god. He actually walked off. He didn't... Like, he didn't... He didn't spawn down there. He just straight up walked off. So his pathfinding must have done that. And then he would have fallen down. Yeah. I think I need to replace this with slabs and then that will work. Because then it'll be too far of a fall for him to even try to pathfind there. Okay, I got another villager in here. Hopefully he'll stay this time. Okay, and just gonna take all this away. We'll go sleep as well, and then we'll see. He should stay. I think it was just a small chance of him actually falling. But hopefully it won't happen ever again. Because this is really a huge pain to do. No! <laughs> now that guy's gone. Do I need to lower the whole platform? What's going on? I don't understand. Oh boy. I thought we could place these chains sideways here so that villagers can't walk off, but we're still in 116.1 because uh, some of the mods haven't been updated yet and I couldn't launch it in 116.2. And I guess we're going to have to just leave this be until we can secure them properly, unless we use end rods, of course, or some other kind of way to prevent them from walking off. Although, I, that might cause other issues. Um, let's see, if we place blocks at this level... Yeah, height... Le they'll still be able to see because the eye height is still in range with the zombie. So if I just place blocks like so... Yeah. He won't be able to get out now. No way. If, if they get out like this, I'm actually going to call it quits for this entire thing. Not the world, just the project. Because it's not worth it. I'll just build a proper iron farm. <laughs> not one of these basic things. Alright, it looks like it'll work now. So hopefully it does, and they can't just glitch through the blocks for some reason. And yeah, I guess... I guess that's the farm done. Um, I really wanted to work on the slime farm as well today, but I'm kind of starting to run out of time. Um, so, I don't know, maybe maybe I'll still work on it. Maybe I won't. Who knows? Um, but yeah, this is what we've got going now. We've got a nice little iron supply. Th these golems actually... Um, th there's more golems than I expected there to be, but... Because of the villager problems, I got less iron than I was supposed to, so I don't know. I don't know what kind of rates I should expect from this yet, but it should be pretty good. It should be pretty good. Uh, so I'm quite happy with it for now. I say for now. In like ten episodes, we're gonna have a giant one that just has like 10k iron per hour at least. Yeah. Let Let me go. Maybe work on some other projects now. So. 
Currently we're pretty good on resources. I've got a fair bit of redstone laying around, about 9 stacks. So that should be alright for now. Uh, don't need too much for, at the moment. Uh, so something like... What was that? Was that a dolphin? I don't know. Um, so we don't really need a witch farm or something like that yet. Um, what we do need, however, is a pretty good supply of slime. Because then we can make flying machines and TNT droopers. And currently I'm just looking for coral, or a place to find coral. I should just look at a uh, seed locator kind of thing. Um, I, thought, I thought there was some not too far from me, but looks like not right here. So yeah, let me let me actually return back to base and then I'll I guess I'll figure out what the next step should be. I have found a coral reef over here, so let's see if I can even pick up these coral fans if I can stop glitching. Let's see if I can even pick up the coral fans without silk touch. I don't think I can. No. Uh, oh no. Okay, well, let's get some sea pickles. We're going to need those. Uh, so, it looks like we're going to need silk touch to get coral fans. Alright, so I'll go back, get silk touch, and I'll come back here again. Alright, so I've just afk the skeleton grinder for a little bit, and I want to see if I can get silk touch. Okay, no silk touch. Uh, I'm going to use the grindstone here so I can try this again. Uh, efficiency 4, that's a nice one. Still touch efficiency from breaking 3, that is the perfect pick. You know, I'm going to combine these two together actually. Um, Anvil, 21 levels versus 13 levels, there we go. That is a good pick. Um, I think I'm actually not going to use this one too much, especially considering it's not, it's not full durability, so I'll just continue using this for most of the time I think. But I'm gonna go with the silk touch now, and I'm gonna get that coral maybe next daytime because it's probably gonna take a few minutes to get there and back. All right, cool. All right, everybody. So I've been back to the coral place. I got some of these coral fans, so they're all good to go to make TNT dupers. All I need now is just five more slime balls. Unfortunately, I'm all out of time for recording today, and I'll have to end it here. But I'd say we, I'd say we did pretty good stuff today. Uh, we we built the iron farm, which is very useful. Um, not gonna have to worry about iron for quite a while now, hopefully. Um, off camera, I'll probably try to get a TNT TNT duper going and finish digging out the slime farm and try to get more slime balls, etc., etc. So we can start working on bigger projects and. I'll also try to get my tools better equipped, uh, currently I've only got the two picks, um, and yeah, I think I think that'll be it for today guys, so hope you enjoyed, um, if you did be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss anything out, and as always, have a great day, bye bye.